Territory Days is now canceled for the second year in a row. The annual family event is promoted as Colorado's largest street fair, but organizers say COVID-19 will once again keep it from happening this year. Cardio News Channel 13's Jasmine Arenas is live in Old Colorado City after learning what a major financial hit this will be for local vendors. Jasmine. This news actually comes as a surprise to many local vendors in the area who thought 2021 would be their comeback year. Now saying that this latest announcement is devastating. For the second year in a row, one of the biggest festivals in Colorado Springs, Territory Days, is canceled. The safety of our guests and of all the people in Old Colorado City is always a priority and working together with our health officials here in El Paso County they still have regulations that would limit the event. Jake Topakas is one of the board members on the Old Colorado City Association. Even with regulations in place like social distancing, he says it would almost be impossible to do this event, which usually draws thousands. We would pretty much just not be able to put on the event that we've done for the past 45 years, and it just wouldn't be the event that people are expecting. Um, and on top of that, it would probably lose money for the association, not even breaking even. Topaka's adds putting on an event like this usually costs between $45 to $50,000 in expenses. On the other side of this are local vendors like Cami Beck, owner of Cami Creations. Territory Days is a huge event, not only for us who set up booths as vendors, the food vendors, but all of the shops and restaurants in Old Colorado City that really draw on this annual event over Memorial Weekend every year to bring a lot of people into the the area. Um, I just I was so disappointed. She says in just the last year with the cancellation of festivals like these, she's missed out on about $30,000 in revenue. A lot of us vendors, we do these shows because we just love the people. We love the face to face interactions with our customers and we want to be out there. Board member Jake Topaka says that Territory Days will return in 2022. Reporting live in Colorado Springs, I'm Jasmine Arenas for KRDO News Channel 13. Yeah, let's hope so. It's certainly a mainstay here in Southern Colorado. Yeah, I think we're all looking forward to that. Yeah, absolutely. Well, if you're still waiting to get a